We're here with PC Magazine's lead laptop analyst, Cisco Chang, and he is going to show us a number of tiny notebooks. Well, first up is the Lenovo ThinkPad X300, the long-awaited uh, answer to the MacBook Air, and we finally have it. Um, long-awaited, at least, at least yeah. a month. Well, at least a month. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been, it's been out for, yeah. all in Lenovo's factories for a while now, just waiting to launch it. Now that they finally did, we finally got a review unit. So looking at it, it's about the same size as the MacBook Air. You got a 13-inch widescreen here, full-size keyboard. And what's really cool about this laptop is that it's three pounds and it has an optical drive. Not only that, what's on the other side? On the other side, <laughs> you got more than one USB wow. port. So two. You got two, two USB, <laughs> well, actually three. Three, okay. Three if you look at the back right here. Which is about, uh, about as much as the average person needs. Exactly, so uh, the Ethernet port is back here. You got a wireless on-off switch VGA. Doesn't have S video. Doesn't have FireWire. Doesn't have an SD slot, which I'm a little okay. uh, disappointed about. But otherwise, I mean, you still got you get the track point pointing stick, which is probably the, the best in the world. Uh, dual pointing devices, so you get the touchpad and the tracking track point device. So, 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 I mean, say for that SD slot, you've got pretty much everything you could possibly need for a business traveler, right? For a business traveler, uh, the only other thing is that it loads a 64 gigabyte flash drive only. So that's all you all you get. You, you don't have an option for a spinning drive. So there's no 80 gigabyte drive, no yeah. 100 gigabyte drive. 64 is all you get. It's one configuration only. But that but solid drive. state is maybe good for somebody solid state is, bouncing is, it around. Right, solid state is is great for durability, but uh, price point wise, we're talking about three thousand yeah. dollars. So this is a really expensive laptop, and I can kind of understand why Lenovo did this because they didn't want to price out the X61, the other ultra portable. So right now, this is a premium. This is for um, business, serious business travelers who need something like this. So, I mean, in, in compared to the other uh, Lenovo, the other mm -hmm. small Lenovo uh, notebook, w it, it, this is lighter? This, this is smaller? This is way lighter. Way okay. lighter, and it has an optical drive, built-in okay. optical drive. The X61 uh, does not. So, so, but the real, the real notebook everyone wants to see right. comparison to exactly. is actually sitting right next to it so let's on the table over right here. Now. So let's close these two, give you a sense of how thick, how much thicker the ThinkPad X300 is. Um, and as you can see, it's it's noticeably thicker. Place it on top of each other. It's actually very thick. <laughs> <laughs> but it, again, okay. it's, it's three pounds. It's and about you're, getting, three pounds. you're getting a lot more. You're getting a lot more, um, slightly uglier. But you know, this is an Apple versus Lenovo right. we're talking about. But, but but let's do the. Manila well, let's start. Let's start with the oh, Apple, start. maybe. Well, we this, know is, this is because everybody everybody's right. seen the footage of Steve Jobs doing this in keynote. Uh, everyone knows this. Okay, oh. fits it's in an. You can right. send this to people in sales. Exactly. Here, have a computer. Nice little fit. So now let's do the X three hundred. A little 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 more a uh, little more maneuvering. It's a snug fit. Getting there. Right, okay. So it's a little tight, but yeah, you know, fits like a glove. <laughs> like a like, like the OJ a, gloves. Like OJ gloves. <laughs> you uh oh, you yeah. you don't need to quit. Okay. And then there's a third. We've got a third, a third portable. There's a third. So I bought in one. the so uh, the Toshiba Portage. All right. Can you tell Can you tell us a little bit about this really quickly if people the don't know as much? The R500 is was the lightest laptop okay. with an optical drive. Well, it still is. I think it's uh, two point yeah. four pounds, two point seven pounds. Uh, it's really thin notebook, really gorgeous notebook. Yeah. Uh, people heard about this. What's it's, the what's the price point new. compared this to the other two? This is about $24.99. Okay, so in between the Apple and the... In between the Apple, well, it's slightly more expensive yeah. than the MacBook Air. Yeah. And less expensive. So it's than in between the Apple and the ThinkPad. Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you put this in here. This is an easy... It's not even a... It's not, right, even, it's not even a question. Okay. So that fits fine. So, and then you brought, you know, just, 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 just so people get the for, point across. Just for giggles. <laughs> And this is this is not the largest notebook we have by any stretch of the imagination. No, it's actually a, a Dell XPS M1330. This is considered an ultra portable, and it has oh. a 13-inch widescreen like the X300 and yeah. the MacBook Air. But if you try to push it into the okay. in the folder, okay. yeah, it's ill. Trust me. All right. Well, <laughs> so, uh, so. as as you can see, this too fits like a glove. So the, uh, the the moral of the story is don't try sending your Dell to anyone in the office. But, uh, you know. 
Okay, thanks for joining us.